Thursday, which means it's time for another video. I got a request to review uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge, which is fun, kind of funny because I just not that long ago did a review on Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors. Seems like I'm going down the line, but that's okay. Um, Nightmare on Elm Street 2, I think the first time I actually ever watched that was on TV. I don't know what channel, but I was a little kid and I absolutely loved it. And then as I got older, I kind of... Um, I didn't like it as much, but now I have more of an appreciation for it. Um, it came out a year after the first one. Is it as good as the first one? No, but I like how where they went with this story. So basically, it you um follow this kid named Jesse, not a girl. It is a guy, so it's like one of the only. I I think it is. Besides, I mean, Freddy's dead. I wouldn't really consider John Doe as the main character. But um, this is, like, probably the only um, nightmare film with a guy protagonist. So the guy hero. But um, he's living in the Elm Street house now with his sister and his mom and dad. And finds, like, a diary that was Nancy's, which you... That that's one thing that bothers me a little bit because they never mention even in the first one they never show Nancy writing in a diary so I don't understand that but that's it's like little things and um basically Freddy is after him and wants to get in his body <laughs> so I'm gonna go into detail and I'm not the only one who thinks this um actually just recently watched uh it's called my uh, it's called a uh, scream queen my nightmare on elm street so the main the main character um jesse is played by an actor named mark Patton, who at the time was an openly gay actor and people were saying even to this day are saying that this is a gay movie i don't i don't know if intentionally the director wanted to make something that was considered gay I don't want to offend I'm not trying to offend anybody I'm just saying what um everybody has said but in this um screen queen my nightmare on elm street Mark Patton is talking it's basically about him and talking about nightmare on elm street 2 and it's actually in shutter right now so if you want to go check that out you can check it out on shutter but he's talks about this movie and how the director intentionally made a gay horror film and a lot of people basically shut this movie down because of that. And I don't really think they should because it's a really good movie. There's some good kills in this. Um, Nick Hoach is probably on the most iconic. But, um, and even the look of Freddy. The look of Freddy is probably my favorite look of Freddy just because of the um, red contacts. Because you don't see that ever again. He looks very, he looks more sinister and just freaking awesome i just think it's my fa personally my favorite look of freddy and, and the movie really has gained a cult following over the years i know a lot of people have despised it in the past but like i said it's gained a cult following um but mark Patton, after this movie he fell off the face of the earth i think just because people are calling this movie gay and all this and this um documentary that that my screen queen at my Elm Street, he um basically goes into detail, and nobody heard from him until two thousand ten, when they did that documentary um Never Sleep Again about the whole Elm Street series. He was apparently the hardest person to find out of the whole Nightmare on Elm Street franchise cast. He was the hardest person to find. He basically fell off the face of the earth after this movie. He's actually a very... He was a Broadway um, actor, too, before he was in Nightmare on Elm Street 2. I'm kind of going off on that. But um, Elm Street 2, I know it's still not a lot of people's favorites. And after 2, they ignored... Elm, like, when they went on 3, they completely ignored Elm Street 2. You never hear of of Jesse or Lisa. Lisa's like the love interest. And she did a good job too. People say she looks like a, a young Meryl Streep, but she kind of does a little bit. 
But, um, basically what happens in this movie is Freddy does get inside Jesse and basically, um, when Freddy kills people, it's actually Jesse. And there's a good scene towards the end where, um, Jesse's at his friend Grady's house and then all of a sudden Jesse starts freaking out and, um, he's starting to grow, like, razor fingers and his arms, like, falling apart and then all of a sudden, like, almost like an alien with a chest burster, um, Freddy bursts right through, um, Jesse's stomach and it's just great, great special effects. That's what I love about these movies. They're always the best special effects and I just think they do a really great job with that but yeah that's like basically all I have to say about Nightmare on Elm Street 2 like I said if you haven't seen Scream Queen My Nightmare on Elm Street go check it out it's on Shudder I think you can still get a free 30 day trial on Shudder but um yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this review comment down below what movie you want me to review next um on Monday I'm going to be reviewing Creep Show which I just recently did Creep Show 2. But like I said, if there's a movie you want me to review, just comment down below on this video. Let me know. But in the meantime, I'll see you guys on Monday.